At this point, we have the BLS data loaded in. We pulled in both the county data and the series data, and we've joined them together. But in order to be able to plot it, we need geographic locations for things. And for that, we have this file called zipcodestates.csv. It has inside of it the zip code, latitude, longitude, city, state, and county for a uh, basically all the zip codes in the US, except for there are some places in this file where Wait, oh, there's one where the latitude and longitude are empty and we'll have to deal with those because we need to average over all the zip codes in a county and the empty ones will cause us problems. So I want to start off by we're doing this with typed data sets. So we're going to make a case class for our zip data. I'll just paste in the header from that file. The zip code is a string. It's not an int. It's not an int because you have leading zeros on a bunch of the zip codes. Latitude and longitude are both doubles, and I am going to shorten them. If for no other reason, then it will make it easier for you to read all the code and have it fit on the screen at one time. And then county is also a string. So city, state, and county. And we need to read those in. And our process for reading them in is very similar to the county data. So I'm going to make a zip data. Spark.read. I need to set the schema. It will be encoders. Dot encoders. Dot product of our case class. And we have to remember to pull off the schema. This file does have a header. So we're going to set header to be true. And then we are going to call CSV. I'll hit a carriage return here on our data set, which is in the data directory slash zip codes states.csv. I need to call the as method so that we can get this to actually be the data set that's typed. Right now it's a data frame. And I can say as zip data, name of our case class. And so now we have a data set of that. I mentioned there were the rows that don't have latitudes. So I want to filter out and only keep the place the rows where lat is not null. We'll cache that result and to make sure it's happy let's show it and let's run this and see what that looks like. And there we go we have a zip code data loaded in, but there are the series data from the BLS only has counties. It's, things are divided up by counties. The zip code has a separate line for every zip code. There can be multiple zip codes inside of a county. So I would like to group together everything that's in the same county, average over the latitude and longitude, and make a new data set that has that data in it. I also want it to be, once again, typed, because that's what we're playing with here. So I'm going to make a zip county data. It still has, it no longer has a zip code in it, because we're basically averaging over the zip codes. It'll have the latitude and longitude, those will be averages. And it will no longer have a city, because we don't really care about that. So we're going to, it'll be unique in county and state. And we have to keep both of these because the county name repeats across many states. And then the latitude and longitude should be the averages of those. So, Val, how about we county locs is going to be our zip data dot and we are going to do a group by. Now we've done group bys before. These are the untyped ones. 
but this time we're going to do a group by key. Okay, and the key that I want to have, it takes in a zip data, and I want to get back a combination of the zip data's county and the zip data's state. So we're going to get back a tuple of those, and this gives us a key value grouped data set which has methods in it like ag. Now one of the things about this ag method, so we've previously done stuff like ABG. Uh, so for example, I want to average over latitudes. You'll see that this isn't happy here. And the reason is because ag on our uh, key value group data set requires a typed column. So we have to tell it that we want this column to be a double. And whoop, that's what it's unhappy about. I have an extra quote there. I have an extra L here. OK. Now if we look at this, we have a data set that has string string as the first element, because that was our county and state, and then double double. I could leave it in this. This is still a statically typed data set. But at least when I look at that, that doesn't look like a fun thing to play with. So the last thing that I want to do here is I want to map this. And I want a case that has county, state, lat, lawn. And it is going to generate a zip county data of lat, lawn, I believe it is state county. Let's scroll up and look. Lat lawn state county. Sure enough. And if we look here, now we have a data set of that type, which is much more wieldy in my opinion than the tuple one. And so we can take county locs and show that real quick just to see if A it runs, gives us back the value that we want. And then what we'll have to do is join this in with our other data set so that we can plot it. So sure enough here, we have a county and a state and an average latitude and longitude. This is what we wanted. We are now just basically one step away from being able to plot it, and that's just one more join, and we'll come back in the next video and do that.